Hey, how you doing? This is Pastor Moore Deontay Touch. Now legally, Bishop Moore Deontay Touch. And today I come to you not to simply give you hope, but to warn you. This sermon, not everybody's going to agree to, but it's Bible. So for all those who have ears, I love you. Today's sermon. Beware of wool and sheep's clothing. So you know, some people won't be offended. And I'm happy. That means so. It starts off with this Acts chapter 8, verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem and they were all scattered abroad throughout the region of Judea, Judea and Samaria except the apostles beware of wolves and sheep's clothing Acts chapter 9 verse 1 and Saul yet breathing out threatening and slaughtered against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the priests. Beware of wolves and sheep's clothing. Later on, Acts chapter 9, verse 15 through 16. Acts chapter 9, verse 15 through 16. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear the name for the Gentiles and kings and their children of Israel. For I will show, show, which means show him how great things must he suffer for my name's sake. Beware of wolves and sheep's clothing. Which is a just says specifically directly in Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 beware of wolves beware of false prophets which come to you as sheep come to you as sheep's clothing sorry beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing inwardly they are ravenous wolves where were wolves and sheep's clothing? Matthew chapter 7, verse 20. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. And that's the focus of today's sermon. All that. But why would I do this? I mean, Paul is an apostle, except for when you go to Acts chapter 1, verse 20 through 26, and the last apostle be Matthias. I tell you this because on the internet as we speak on YouTube there have been so many pictures of Christ saying he will let you go if you don't click on a video where the eagles surround there will be the carcass and honestly the signs are seen in Matthew 24 verse 1 59, if I'm correct. Tell of the doomsday that we would go through. The statue of Satan in Oklahoma City, bobble. Wars, rumors of wars, famine, disease, bobble. High prices, on goods, inflation, bobble. Yes. Fake Christ roaming around everywhere online just to try to convince you to go to their page, and some of it is not safe to see. Bobble. And that's the focus of today. I know a lot of you have been wondering how in the name of God are we in this so much it don't make no sense to even try anymore. And that's where you are wrong. You don't have the right to give up when our lives are not our own. When it will give up my God and protect us. That's why the meek shall inherit the earth. Meek, by definition, is endure long suffering. 
talk about home or what it would really be. All the suffering that he went through was in the name of Christ. That means God himself, the Messiah himself, let all that happen to him because he slaughtered 5,000 Christians. No, 500 in prison and they never were seen again. Just for believing in the one true God. But if you have belief in the one true God, you shouldn't worry. Did you know Paul directly hit with double curse if you read any of his work and don't follow a double curse? The only one that had more letters in the Bible than the apostles, 14 letters in the New Testament. The wearer of wolves and sheep's clothing. Though he big specks in it, God did not forgive. And if he did, no, he didn't. He is. That's why he suffered greatly. A few different occasions, professing the name of Christ, he was nearly killed. No matter how innocent they seem to believe, the wearer of wolves and sheep's clothing. No matter how they just want you to perceive the, the werewolves and sheep's clothing. No matter how much they say your life is made believe, the werewolf wolves and sheep's clothing. To all those who don't want you to believe, huh, the werewolves and sheep's clothing. And that is the sermon of today. Unfortunately, I gotta go. But this is for you. All those in the church wonder, why am I doing wrong when I'm trying to live my life? The werewolf wolves and sheep's clothing. When it comes down to them saying you don't dress right, look right, smell right, talk right, you wear of wolves and sheep's clothing. Everybody want to be Christ like the Christ bled for you. Yes. We're to talk about hypocrisy in the church. Yes. One to help those in need by miracle and signs, but said the only sign that they will ever really see is him coming back in three days and then try to believe that. You wear of wolves and sheep's clothing. You safe on the internet. Say pastor. No. Bishop. P O I N D. Doctor and Bishop Dr. Mario Deontay Tut. Now have a good day. What else you need is y'all look tired and y'all you know who you are. I'm beloved boy. You need PFP for my family. Yeah. May the world be at peace. Said the son of man. Oh my God. What the hello, Lord? Only on YouTube.